Hello everyone, this is your Lekala Master Aruhara Gopal. In the previous video, we discussed about the most beautiful problem from 8th class areas of plane figures based on the simple formulas pi r square and half pi r square, 1 by 4 pi r square, which are nothing but the areas of circle, semicircle and the quadrant. And even in this video also, I am going to introduce another two problems based on the same formulas but not in the textbook. They are really very pretty and simple and beautiful problems which you need to know before attempting this entire chapter areas of plane figures. So without wasting time, let me introduce the questions directly. Have a look at this diagram. If you see, it looks like a Mickey Mouse which consists of four circles and here information given to us is the radius of these two circles is 2 cm each and the radius of this smallest circle is 1 cm. Radius of big circle is unknown which we are supposed to find out and most important information given to us regarding this diagram is if you see the outside regions were colored with some color and inside portion which is uncommon to the all the three circles is also colored with some other color. It was given some of these three areas is equal to the area of inside and uncommon part. So just for our convenience let me assume this each outside region as something as A, B, C and inside area is something K. So it was given k equal to which is nothing but area of uncommon portion of the bigger circle equal to sum of these three regions a plus b plus c so that is the most important information for us finding the radius of this bigger circle so here with this information and the, with the radii of all the three circles or we are supposed to find out the radius of bigger circle here here whatever the common portion of the pair by circles here if you see let me assume that common portions are something like P, Q, R. Now, if you observe carefully, A plus P together becomes this circle, B plus Q becomes this circle, C plus R becomes this small circle and K plus P plus Q plus R becomes the area of this entire circle. Here, whatever we got K equal to A plus B plus C. So, just adding P, Q, R on the both sides of this expression, what we are going to get? K plus P plus Q plus R equal to A plus B plus C plus P plus Q plus R. Just by arranging all the six alphabets in order, so we are going to get A plus P plus B plus Q plus C plus R. Here, K plus P plus Q plus R. If you observe carefully, K plus P plus Q plus R is nothing but the area of this big circle in which radius is unknown. Let me assume as something R, so which is nothing but pi R square. A plus P is nothing but the area of this circle whose radius is 2. So definitely it is going to be pi 2 square. Area of the second circle which is nothing but B plus Q is going to be pi 2 square and the area of the small and the last circle is also going to be C plus R which is nothing but pi 1 square. If you observe carefully we got pi R square equal to pi 2 square plus pi 2 square plus pi 1 square. Just taking off pi common and cancelling on both sides we are going to get R square equal to 2 square plus 2 square plus 1 square which is nothing but 9 or square equal to 9 where r equal to 3. So, which is nothing but the radius of bigger circle is equal to 3 centimeter and this problem is from IIT Ramaya entrance exam in the year 2009. Very simple and innovative problem just based on simple formulas of areas of circle my dear children. Hope you enjoyed this small problem and let me go with another problem. Just have a look. One square was given in which side is unknown. So, in square, so one circle was inscribed. So, apart from the circle, one vertex as center, side as radius, a quadrant has been constructed here. If you see carefully, this portion, name it as S1, this as S2, this as S3 and whatever crescent you can see here, that is name it as S. So, they are asking to prove S equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3. So, without any numerical information still we can find out or we can prove whatever they are asking S equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3. So, here if you see carefully the common portion of quadrant and circle which is unnamed, let me name it as something, something P. So, if you observe carefully the circle is nothing but S plus P and the quadrant is nothing but S1 plus S2 plus S3 plus p. So, here just to take it as area of circle equal to as the radius is unknown for us. So, let me consider as r only. 
area of circle equal to pi r square. So what is area here according to the diagram s plus p we got. So s plus p equal to pi r square let me name it as 1. So now area of quadrant if you consider for the quadrant what is going to be the radius the diameter of the circle is going to be the radius of this quadrant. So half pi r square here r is nothing but a 2r. So area of quadrant equal to 1 by 4 pi into 2r whole square. What is the area of quadrant according to the diagram s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus p. So same thing I wrote here. So 1 by 4 into pi into 2r whole square here 4 and here 4 gets cancel each other. So area of quadrant also we are going to get pi r square only. Area of circle also we got pi r square only which is nothing but in this particular diagram area of circle equal to area of quadrant. What is area of circle? S yes, plus p. What is area of quadrant? S1 yes, plus S2 plus S3 plus p. The same thing I am writing here. So on the both sides if you cancel p you are going to get S1 plus S2 plus S3 equal to S. Yes. This what they are asking to prove that one. So my dear children if you observe these two problems carefully just based on simple formulas only these problems has been solved. So this is the real beauty behind these kind of problems. Hope you enjoyed these two problems. From further videos onwards I am going to discuss the formulas of the different shapes from the areas of plane figures. So we will meet in that video. Until then take care. Bye bye. You are Lekkalamastaru Hargopal.